Dave, there's no other way to put it that that result is simply not good enough, is it? No, it's not. Um, we started off okay, you know, when we were winning four to two. We took some bad uh, decisions. We made some bad decisions defensively. We jumped up. We tried pinching when we shouldn't have been pinching. Um, we had a two-goal lead. You know, I, I thought some of our shots early on shouldn't have gone in, but they did go in. So all of a sudden, you get that little bit of momentum going. We didn't keep it going, and I think that was the, the biggest downfall of all night. And you mentioned, you know, the, the, the pinching in and causing the old rushing has been a problem most of the season for this team. Is that a, a mental barrier at this stage? You'd hope not. Um, it's been it's been gone over in the dressing room over and over and over, and it's still happening. So uh, it's difficult to win when we give up too many odd number of rushes, and uh, that's how many good scoring chances Carzy gets in a regular game, right? And uh, it's just not good enough for anybody. And I think we let Will down tonight. When we were winning by a couple, I th thought we could have uh, just gapped up a little bit and. You know, just made it tight and hard for them to even get shots on the net or rebounds, and we just didn't do that. Now, when you see the performance we had against Sheffield in here last time we were in this building, to then to this one, you can understand the fans' frustrations, can't you? A hundred percent, a hundred percent for sure. Because um, they've seen them play extremely well, and defensively they played very well, um, worked hard, physical in the corners, and then some nights we're not. We're a total opposite team, and. Um, I don't know. It's hard to pinpoint one person because it's it's you know it's a team sport, but there's three or four guys that probably do a little bit more um, thinking than they should. And what kind of response are you looking for in Dundee on Wednesday after that, or even on, even on practice on Tuesday? Yeah, it should be a hard practice. Uh, whether we play the game on Wednesday, I know there's been a lot of you know hockey in the last month, but it doesn't matter. I think we should be working hard, extremely hard. Um, battles, battle drills in front of our net, battle drills in the corner and you know those drills kind of hurt a little bit once in a while and I think that's what needs to be done here this week. Is that one of those games where you want it to let it sit in there and sting for a while so they do learn from this? Yeah you do, you do. Um, I'm sure they take it home with them. Sometimes it's difficult right after the game to you know you're, you're mad at yourself, you're mad at everything else that's going on and uh, you're not thinking straight but come Monday morning, I know everybody's going to say to themselves, you know, we need to play better. And you can't wait till tomorrow. You have to get it in your mind today that you're going to be better tomorrow. And hopefully everybody does that. And especially if it's important to lock in that fourth place for the playoffs, that, that higher seed so you get the choice of the home leg. And every team we're playing in this run is pretty much a potential playoff opponent outside of Cardiff. I know, I know. <laughs> so every game's vital right now. And, uh, I know the players know it because we go over it in the dressing room regularly and um, you know they got to take it upon themselves. They're the ones that have to go on the ice and do it. And, um, hopefully come Wednesday or Tuesday morning's practice we get a really good practice prior to the Wednesday game. It's going to be a difficult game. They've been on a roll for the last probably four to six weeks right now and they're going to be a difficult opponent so we're going to have to come with our A game. All right, thanks Dave. Thank you very much.